Slap. A friend request. A feature that's been on Roblox since the very beginning. What if I told you that this is the most dangerous feature on Roblox and it's actually being used to groom children? Ruben Sim recently just did a video talking about how there's a massive user base of Roblox players engaging in not safe for work roleplay on the site. And the most alarming thing about this is that they are directly targeting children. I've been aware of this issue for quite some time. I've known about different Roblox groups that were specifically used to find other people to do not safe for work roleplay, but I never knew how bad this actually was. These people were targeting children. They were finding them and trying to groom them. So with the help of Cow Cow, we decided to actually do something about this. We created a fake female profile on Roblox that stated it was 13 years old. And we had a game where when they would go ahead and try to message me and do inappropriate stuff with, they would be confronted by Chris Hansen on Roblox in 4K. Yep. And some of these conversations were unbelievable. Like in the very last episode where one of them literally said Fave did nothing wrong. Today's episode, I wanted to change it up a little bit to really highlight to you guys how bad this issue is. I set a one hour timer and Green Lego Cats and I went through and befriended as many people as possible. You will not believe how many predators we caught. Don't try this yourself. The first thing I did was go to my friend request, and I added two different users. One of them was named Poppy, and on his bio, it stated normal bio so I don't get banned. You know why I added. So I went ahead and added him, and just said hi. A few minutes later, he went ahead and said back, hey, winky face. After some back and forth conversation, out of the blue, he said, I'm very corny. He also stated that he was stroking it right now. I went ahead and let him know that I'm 13 years old and if he was okay with that. I'm not even going to read back what he said. Like, that, that is absolutely disgusting. So, we brought him into our game and here's what happened. Oh. Hi. Oh. He's going straight to the bad morphs. Something interesting that Cow Cow went ahead and did is he added this thing called bad morphs. Bad morphs are pretty much something in Roblox games that allow you to transform your avatar into something inappropriate. And these predators ran to it every single time. Oh, it's not working. Ugh. Should I TPS to a con? Yee. Oh my god, bro, just reveal yourself. Why don't you take a seat over here? What brings you here today? Poppy? <gasps> oh, he just reset. Wait, 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 did he just leave a game? That interaction was extremely disturbing. But while all of that was taking place, something was going on behind the scenes. A Roblox user by the name of Hito Soup, who I friended, that I found because they were in a Roblox group that had a very suspicious group icon of a kid. Well, they actually joined the game before I could even send a single chat message to them. And what took place after that was pretty troubling. Someone just joined, wait, what? Oh. Uh, uh, hi? Wait, let's try to catch this person. Um, how are you? Wanna RP? Is this a con or what? Oh my god, dude, they're going straight for the bad morphs, bruh. It doesn't work, but I can TPS to one. If so... Please. I'm 13 though, is that okay? I'm 14. Alright, cow cow, just visible yourself, let's just see what happens. Hello there. Hey. Take a seat again. Let's sit down and have a chat. Okay, something major just happened. Cow Cow is pretty much being whispered by this person, so I wouldn't actually see what they're saying. But I have Cow Cow's video, and here's what they said. I'm trolling as a boy. But you're dressed as a girl. Your plan was to go through with the RP with a 13-year-old, and then reveal that you were a boy. Yes. And right after that message, they left the game. We are only 50 minutes into this challenge, and we have caught two predators back to back, but it only gets worse. But before we continue on, I want to quickly explain that this video was actually recorded 
all the way back in November, well before Ruben Sims called to action to troll this community. For Hiso Soup to ask what he believed was a 13 year old for a condo game so he could do not safe for work roleplay to only reveal that he was a boy as some sort of troll, I don't really buy that. And I'd assume a lot of you guys don't buy that too. Next predator that we caught in this sting was a very disturbing one. This one here is named Bree. Her name is Pookie Poppy 33 and on her about page it says, hey, you know what this account is for. Mostly girls, but exceptions to some boys. Owners Blake. Now the chat messages I had with him went like this. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm just kind of bored right now. Same, lol. So you like girls? Some of them, but yes. What about me? I would say yes if you give me a good time. Now, after that, I proceeded to tell this person that I was only 13 years old, and they responded back saying that they were 15. Now, as I previously stated in my last video, a lot of these predators like to say that they are younger so that they can get other victims. 11 year old and a 27 year old to talk on really almost any platform. Okay, so I told her to join. She should be joining any second now. Oh wait, she joined. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. You? So, what you wanna do? For you to give me a good time. I'm a bottom, if that's okay. And I need a master. I want you to remember that this person said that they were 14 years old. Who says that at 14 years old? Okay, I have a funny idea. What if I walk out and then you walk in? So like visible yourself like outside of it and then I will walk out and turn myself invisible. I'm telling her to stay, okay? Here, wait, stay in here. I have to go get something for us. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, she's right behind that door. Oh goodness. Oh, uh, wait, wait, where is she? D did she leave the game? Oh my God, she just got, she got a glimpse of you and left. Oh my god, dude. That was pretty wild, but the most disturbing part about this whole thing so far is that we are only 30 minutes into this challenge. We have finally reached the halfway point and we have caught in all of these people. The next person that we caught, I wanted to go a little bit further with just to demonstrate to you guys the real intentions behind these people and what they're into and what they believe is appropriate to send to a 13 year old girl. Meet this Roblox user by the name of F-U-V-T-A underscore toy. Looking for F-U-V-T-A to, you know, F-U-V-T-A only. Now, F-U-V-T-A is actually a bypass of something called F-U-T-A. Now, you might be saying, oh, schlep, doesn't that mean the Federal Unemployed Tax Act? No, it doesn't. It's a very degenerate preference that I cannot even begin to explain on YouTube. Just take my word on it, it is extremely gross. Now, he went ahead and accepted my friend request after I found him in a not safe for work roblox group and uh the messages began right away hi hi how are you i'm doing well what are you doing oh i'm in bed but not sleeping yet oh anyways wanna rp oh yeah sure you're an fuvta okay what rp do you want to do i'll just follow along hmm mom x daughter now, as stated before, on my bio, it says I'm 13 years old. So this person was aware that I was 13 years old and was exposing me to their extremely degenerate preferences. Now, this person tried to roleplay with me for a solid 10 minutes, but all I will say is I was trying to be the driest roleplayer ever by pretty much saying nothing. Eventually, I ended up inviting them to the game and this is what happened next. Hello. Hi, mom. By the way, I should probably tell you this now. Yes. I'm only 13. She says she's 11, but who is into the crap she's saying at 11 years old, bro? That is the biggest cap I've ever heard in my life. All right, I'm bringing her inside. Let, let's see what happens. So, what do you want to do? Well, let's not listen to that. Okay. Buy the movie. All right, I'll buy the movie. Bro, this is literally like a Vux Vux video, but the only difference is uh, these are predators. 
do you want to do this in Brook? Taking just a quick glance at the content made over on Brookhaven, you can immediately see that some of the youngest demographics within the Roblox community play that game. We are literally talking about people aging from 5 to 10 years old. And this Roblox predator is telling us to go over into that game to do a not safe for work roleplay in front of children possibly. That's got to be one of the most disturbing messages I've seen. Now, because I obviously don't want to expose children to that, uh, I obviously told her, let's do it in this game. Plus, Cow Cow is literally waiting at any moment to transform himself into Chris Hansen. Yeah, same. Oh my god, bro. There's literally nothing. What's she talking about, bro? We're just sitting in a chair. Over the Hedge is so funny. That turtle in that movie? Oh my god. She's gonna invis wait, 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 hear me out. Just go right in front of her and kiss Chris Hansen. Chris Hansen. Here, wait. I'm gonna go invisible. I'm gonna go invisible. All right, three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, take a seat. Yes, yes. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Hello there. What brings you to this house today? Um, first, what happened to the other person? Now, what brings you to this place today to meet a 13 year old? The role play. What type of role play? Ask that. Oh, they left. Oh my god, dude. And we also we only got two minutes left, bro. Do you think I can get one more person? That was pretty freaking crazy to see. But we have only two minutes left of this challenge. So that might be the end of a Oh, a new notification. Someone by the name of Mia went ahead and added me. Let me check their profile. Oh yeah, this is a seemingly innocent profile until we read the bio which states, Add me to be my master. I'll be your toy. Punish me good. I'm very bad. Put a collar and a leash and train me to be your good girl. Dear Pizza! God, what did I just read? The more you read this bio, the worse it gets. But I went ahead and accepted her friend request with minutes to spare and the chat message has begun right away. So the chat started with, hey, hi. She immediately said, wanna do something. Now I asked her what she was thinking and she immediately responded back with freaky. Now, after that, I went ahead and said, Do you mind that I might be a little young, though? I'm only 13. She said, Really? I know, some people don't like that. Yeah. And she just said, I just turned 14. I don't believe that for a single Pizza! few seconds. Anyways, we went ahead and got them in-game, and something totally unexpected happened. Alright, here we go. She's in. Oh my god! Dude, we got two of them! We got two of them. Yes, a second account joined with only a few minutes to spare. The username is your toy, and the bio says 13. We'll do anything. Bro, what? Hi. How are you? <laughs> Want to come inside? So what are you wanting to do? Wait, hold on. <gasps> oh my god, bro. They just left the game. Wait, okay, we got the other person still, though. We got to go find them. Okay, I'm like chasing down your toy right now. Uh, come here. Uh, l let's figure out why you're in this game, your toy. Yo, Cow Cow, where are you right now? You gotta spawn in. Oh, crap. Wait, I think she just left the game. Yes, she did leave the game. But it is officially one hour since we started catching predators on Roblox. And we caught a grand total of six of them in a single hour. It's quite mind-blowing how a multi-billion dollar company has zero moderation. And how they're enabling a ring of thousands of online predators to flourish. Who knows how many children at any given moment are getting groomed by these individuals. Roblox needs to start taking their moderation very seriously. They need to fix reports and they need to have better community outreach because if they don't stuff like this will continue to happen finally if you do wish to mess with this community please exercise extreme caution as online predators are known to be some of the most malicious people on the internet who knows what any of these people are truly capable of thanks for watching today's video the next part's going to be even more wild